It's a different day altogether for all of you because this is the puja of Adi Shakti and Adi Shakti is a complete personality. It's not only the left side that you know. You all know only the left side, from Sri Ganesha through the ascent of different, different chakras on the left side. I didn't want to tell you about the right side to begin with because those who have gone through the right side got just lost. They got Gayatri Mantra from the writings but they didn't know what it was about. They just used to learn it by heart. They didn't also know the real meaning of it. And that is how they moved on the right side and, I don't know, they landed up at the Agya. And then they were trying for the Self-realization. They were promised that if you do this right side properly, you will reach to the ultimate goal of Self-realization. But none of them reached. Most of them got into a terrible temper, terrible temper of cursing others, of destroying others, all these things they learned through their right side movement. There was no Kundalini awakening and they were made to go up to the, at the most Agya Chakra and then they collapsed into different places of complete ignorance. All these books were written without understanding that it's not easy to go via right side. But best was to awaken your Kundalini. The Kundalini directly takes you up in the center of all the chakras, up to the Agya and crosses Kagya and goes beyond Agya into the Sastrara and then it pierces through the Sastrara. Now what is so important about the Brahmarandra, from where it pierces? I never told you about it. But now I think for most of you the time has come. You see, in the childhood, the child has a talu, which is the fontanelle bone area, which is pulsating always. It is pulsating because the spirit entered through that area. And when you close it, it settles in the heart. Now you have to become the spirit-oriented person. But how to enter into the Sahasrara was the problem. The Tantrikas who were there, they went through the right-left side and they developed all the practices of black, we should say, the left side. So the right-sided became extremely hot-tempered, extremely 
hot-tempered, I should say extremely ambitious, ferocious, and they started kidding people on the basis of cursing. They are very good at cursing people, to be always forward, push back all the people and override everybody's rights. They were regarded as the most ambitious and most powerful people. Now the Brahmins and to some extent the Kshatriyas, they de took the right side. Because of the right side, they became very powerful, no doubt. They got all the powers over the world and uh, they were regarded as extremely powerful and majestic people, but they were not because they were so hot-tempered. Hot-tempered people cannot be spiritual. So they were told, you'll get your spirituality, don't worry, keep moving. And the seven chakras were described on the right side. According to them, there is Bhū, Bhūrva, Bhū is this Prithvi is this word, Bhu. Bhurva is the complete cosmos, or we can call it Antariksh. Swaha. Swaha is consumption at the Nabi Chakra. And Swadha is the Swadha is the consumption inside, is to absorption. Swaha, Swadha. Then is the mind, heart, mana. After mana came the agya, the vishuddhi. The vishuddhi is jana, collectivity, people, go to the people. Jana. Then at the Agya it is Tapa. In Tapa we have Christ in the center, left side they had Jainism, right side Christianity. They were not actually ascending path. They were just side outlets, you can say, for the energy of people who were trying to seek the Truth. Now this happened for ages in it. All the gurus, all the sadhus, all the big tapasvis, all of them did this. But where did they reach? Tapasvis were the people who could give curses, show sharp to people. They could curse somebody. With the katakshas, with the glance of the eye, they could kill somebody. They could burn something all right-sided powers they had. And with these right-sided powers, where did they reach? To hell, I should say, in a way, if not in the limbo, as you call it. They, nobody got Self-realization. You read the old books from India. But even otherwise, the Greeks, And then we had Egyptians, English, and all kinds of aggressive people. Germans, all of them were aggressive. Catholics, 
and also you had Romans. All of them were aggressive and were taking the land and property of other countries. Extremely aggressive, they believed in the killing of the people. Extremely insulting, hot-tempered people. So how to bring them to the normal? To the central path. One side was, as I told you, Bhu, Bhur, Swaha, Swadha, this consumption. This was done by Guru Principal. Then we have Mana, Jana, that is collective. They became collective, no doubt, because they are so powerful that they had such a lot of people with them to fight for the oppressive, with their oppressive temperament they were fighting on people and were oppressive. All these kind of generation came in the history as you know and then it decided. Wars were created, then so many people were killed. We had Hitler as the maximum of cruelty. They never cared for humanity. Then ultimately it came to the Agya. Agya also they killed Jesus Christ. They destroyed Jesus Christ. They destroyed so many great saints who were really sent through the central path, some were incarnations and they destroyed them. All this happened since the time of Rama. All that has happened and one after another so many Rakshasas came and they destroyed the peaceful culture of the world. Extremely arrogant show-offs, as we can call them, very aggressive people. And this aggression came, came with such a great force and followed one after another. It went up to a point when people reacted, they were killed and were destroyed. So horrible people were created. All these people as they were aggressive and destructive. This nature is still within us, some people, because they are right-sided. All right-sided people had this problem. Temper, aggression, controlling others. The growth stopped and there was no spiritual growth. They wanted to have spirituality but with this kind of behavior they had developed, spirituality ran away. We had so many incarnations, they all were killed, crucified or were finished. There was no possibility of saving human beings in general. 
One bad man came and he ruined the whole world. We had one Hitler who really hit all the people, all the countries, all the nations, and we were all finished. All this is because we have taken to right-sided movement, which they thought was easier for spirituality, which was not. So they crossed all the limits and they reached a stage that they became absolutely devils, rakshasas, without realizing that human beings are rakshasas. That's what they become. Even their gurus were like that, and nothing but they tor tor tortured even the incarnations. All the incarnations were tortured by them. It was really how they saved themselves is remarkable. But ultimately, they couldn't produce any results. So the first thing I tried was to study about the Kundalini, that I should be able to raise the Kundalini. And I knew I had come for that, not for anything else, but only to raise the Kundalini of people, so that they take to the central path not to the right or to the left. But I told you the knowledge of the left side, plus raising your Kundalini. By raising your Kundalini, you broke your Sahasrara and you entered into the realm of real joy, of reality. All these bad qualities started falling out. In the central path, first the Muladhara came. By the awakening of the Muladhara and the central path, you became very pure people. Your eyes became pure. Your licentiousness went away. Your cheapness went away and you became very, very I think we should call them the holy people. Unless and until that happens, you cannot be in such a You cannot be a licentious, you cannot be a flirtish, you cannot be a man who wants to grab money from others and all that or anyone who is very aggressive could be in such a world. So all such people were thrown out. Once they were thrown out, they were showing their teeth, I should say. They didn't like it that they were thrown out. But they understand now, some of them, that we have made mistakes. So first thing is that you must develop your sense of chastity, respect it and enjoy it. That happened because of your muladhara being awakened. That's the first chakra on the left side, where you have Shri Ganesha. But on the right side also we have deities. On every chakra we have de deities to compensate. But Shri Ganesha is in the center. And that's how we were blessed by His powerful purity. And we started understanding the beauty of purity, the power of purity. That's how our right side <coughs> we finished off. Right side was for fighting, for killing, <coughs> anger, There was no peace for these people. The only thing they knew was how to dominate others and to be intolerable. 
So then they rose to a higher, higher level of Swadishthana. In Swadishthana, they rose, and the aggressiveness of the creative people to create something. Even now we have many. They create all kinds of nonsense, create all sorts of gross texts, also very, very, I should say, dirty things to make a name. So this is the another thing we got it in Swadishtana, people who wanted to have a name, a position, that came from right Swadishtana. Then the third chakra that was there was the Nabi chakra. On the Nabi chakra, they went all out to make money, not Lakshmi, but money. Money by any means. And they cheated the whole world. With this money that they got, they did all kinds of bad things. Either they cheated or they were aggressive. Cheating was very much in the left side, countries like India. And aggressiveness in the right side, countries. In the center, what quality we have at the Swadishthana is the creativeness, creative of art, which is very beautiful, which is very deep, which is absolutely spiritual. That vanished and people started showing even the incarnations full of dirty habits. All kinds of filth came in with that progress. Then as you, I told you, there's Nabi. In Nabi people got after money. <coughs> Left-sided people were making money, right-sided were aggressive with their money. If they were earning, they thought they are on top of the world. If they had money, they thought nobody is better than us. All this finished them. It's finishing. It will come to that point where they will realize that money is not for destroying but for construction. Constructing of the country, constructing of the human beings together to bring peace and love among them. For helping, for doing all kinds of good things. Then the same right-sided people went to the chakra of the mother. <laughs> And they were horrible mothers, tried to dominate their children, dominate everyone, and could not sacrifice anything for the children. We have had enough of these women who are aggressive with their husbands, are aggressive with their children. And even the motherhood among men is dead and finished. All that kind of lot when I came on this earth, I saw, and I was shocked. What sort of human beings are those? What am I going to do with them? How will I awaken their Kundalini? At the Nabi Chakra only they were lost. But now it is the Mother's Chakra. They had no fatherhood, no motherhood. They drove out their children, very selfish, self-centered, dominating parents. This was <coughs> the heart chakra. Then came the collective chakra, what we call as the Vishuddhi. At the Vishuddhi chakra, they wanted to occupy the whole world. They wanted to 
occupy the whole world as their own to become emperors and they formed empires and misbehaved to such an extent that it's not humanly possible to behave like that. They really were Rakshasas, I should say, and those Rakshas qualities are still there in their behavior, in everything. You can see how they behave towards people, treating them like that, creating people who are against spirituality and those who are aggressive. But these became like a two-sided world where there are people who are aggressive and the people who are tortured. This two-sided world exists even now but is much less. Thanks to the collective understanding, there are many good institutions that were established, but they are not working out. They are not so successful because the men at the head of it are controlling but controlling what? Not themselves, controlling others. And all their behavior has spoiled all the work of this chakra. Collectively, we are, if you see around now today, everywhere there's war going on, fights going on, killing going on, destruction going on. How is it? There are so many spiritual people now on this world. So the reason is, the spiritual people have become very quiet, very much enjoying their spiritual life, have become very quiet and very uh, peaceful people. But that doesn't bring peace. You have to be dynamic and you have to bring peace in the world. You have to do something about it. We are very much satisfied with our progress, but we are not bothered as to see what is the progress others have done, how far they have gone, where can we meet them, what can we change them. At my level I can change many things, but at your level how many people have we changed? What have you done? That has to be said. Still you live with your ego on the agya and you are very happy with your peace, with everything you have got through Sahaja Yoga. This is the biggest calamity that the world is facing today, that those who are also spiritual, those who have achieved great heights, are least bothered as to what good has to be done. What they are doing is to enjoy their own spirituality, come to the puja, have more and more of it, but they have done no collective work to change people. Some of them are working one or two persons, the rest of them are having a good time enjoying themselves in such a manner that people accept them as great souls, good people, that's all. I would like you to now introspect and find out how much collective work you have done, how many people you have got. Uh, like that. With whom are you talking? How many people have you told about Sahaja Yoga? Only so many are there. Christ had only twelve disciples. They are much more dynamic than you are. So now you should take to the right side. And when you take to the right side, will create dynamic people, not just some useless, patient, very quiet, peaceful people. This is not the aim of Sahaja Yoga. The aim of Sahaja Yoga is to change, change so many. And those who are doing that, all My blessings are with them. But those who are just keeping to themselves, it is not a very good thing. In your country, how many people have got to Sahaja Yoga? Just find out. With how many people you have worked it out? So yours is not a complete yoga, yours is a partial yoga of the left side where you are very loving, you are very kind, very this thing. 
I'm not saying that you should become aggressive in any way. But even I have seen people want to be leaders, they want to be something great. But how many people have they given realization? How many people have they talked about Sajoga? I say when in the aeroplane also you go, you walk in the street, anywhere people talk about Sajoga. But here we are using Sajoga for our greatness, for our uh, understanding of ourselves. This is not why Sajoga has been brought to you. It has been brought to you for giving realizations to many people. I request all the younger people, the younger generation, not to waste their surge energies or nonsense as the old people have done. You better go ahead and talk to people about Sajo and spread the Sajo. They are more interested in running schools, in looking after the destitutes, doing this, doing that. That's not your job. Your job is to create more Sajogis, more Sajoginis, but that is not there. What I find is it's not there. The right side is missing. You should come to the right side. Go all ahead. Nothing will happen to you. Nobody can kill you. Nobody can disturb you. Nobody can arrest you. Take it from me. You have powers. But if you don't use them, you are like this. That is why we have come to the stagnated point, that we should know we have to use our right side. Right side is very important. Next time I'll tell you about right side, what right-sided things are. Now you cannot become left-sided, whatever you may try. So you use your right side in the right direction, with the right understanding, not as some sort of, I should say, very arbitrary or very dominating, like Hitler's. We have had also Hitler's among Sajogis. But now the time has come for you to do something more than what the saints have done before, to work it out that way, not to keep to yourself that you have a family, you have very nice children, having enjoying all that. That's not the Sahaja Yoga for. Sahaja Yoga is for transforming the whole world. You have to think about it. What are you doing? Where are you? Uh, what have you achieved out of Sahaja Then we come to the Agya. In Agya, what has happened is Sajogis are become, they have, they can bear anything, they can suffer anything. That's not what we want. What we want to remove the sufferings of others, remove the aggression of others. So we don't, that kind of organization we don't have, that kind of understanding we don't have. And if that works out, you will be different people. So we have become like saints sitting in their her hermit hall, something like that. Not more than that. So better try to do something positive without aggression. I know some of you are still very aggressive. They are show-offs, I know that. But if you get into the mood of working out collectively, then you will realize what mistakes you have, still what is lacking in your personality. That is very important. At Agya Chakra many Sahaja Yogis falter. I don't know what happens to them. At Agya I've told that you must forgive. But that doesn't mean that you allow people to do wrong things. Because you want to forgive, it's very easy not to fight, not to say anything, just keep out, just forgive. No. You go and talk to that person and tell him it is wrong. You have to face it. If you cannot face it, then you are useless. 
just like any other people. What's the use of you people getting your realization? So now we have to understand that it's not only that we have vibrations, that we are all right, that you can cure some people, is the last word, no. You have to spread it, you have to go in the public, you have to be collective on this point and you have to spread Sahaja Yoga. With so many Sahaja Yogis all over the world, we have not progressed much. So now it is you have to plan what you want to do, how you want to do it and how you want to spread Sahaja Yoga. It's very important because you people are good at, say, talking about Sahaja Yoga, singing about Sahaja Yoga, all these things are useless unless and until you have concrete proof of getting many more people in Sahaja Yoga. In a small country like Turkey, we have 25,000 Sahaja Yogis, what do you say? They are all Muslims, 25,000 Muslims becoming Sahaja Yogis. Why you find that number is very small in any other country. They are not very rich, but they care for their Self-realization and for, to our giving Self-realizations to others. It's very surprising how it has worked out, how it has spread. So instead of thinking of your problems, of your enemies, of your powers, think of giving power to others and making them Sahaja Yoga. It's very important. If you are in Sahasrara, then you have all the powers. In Sahasrara, if you do not spread Sahaja Yoga, what's the use of getting Realization? Just for yourself? It's being very selfish. So I would say that instead of spreading your own glory, your own grave, your own uh, name, please try to get more people to search. Go into a very dynamic force. So many people have complained to me that Sahaja Yogis are nothing but dead people. Is that what you are? Only single person like me has done so much work. So why not you people? In your country have we worked it out all over. Just think about it. And that's why unless and until you don't do it, you are not Sampurna, you are not complete. And the Adi Shakti's powers you have not understood in its full form. That's why I'm telling you today, it's a very important day that you worship me as Adi Shakti. But you should know that Adi Shakti has to be a complete form. It cannot be only half left-sided, no. If that doesn't work out, then what's the use? It's like any other getting any other realization. That's not so important. Not only that you should spread, but also you should make them and realize it. All my blessings, all my love, all my powers I give you. But try to understand. All right? Thank you very much. <laughs>